Yo, yo, it's Timmy Lee Glean. I'm here with another one of these videos where I just sit down in front of the camera and talk. Um, one thing I noticed is that I've been doing a whole lot of talking. And I'm learning that I can have wisdom. And, you know, in a way that can be kind of like a downfall for anybody. You know, when you talk too much, when you speak too much, when you express too much, when you put too much out there. Now, I believe there's a, a thin line between being bold and being foolish and unwise. You know, scripture says, uh, be slow to speak and be quick to listen, be quick to hear. We got two ears for a reason and we got one mouth for a reason and I believe what we have two of we should use more than what we have one of and um, to whom much is given much is required so if much ears is given much listening is required um, y'all blessed us with a voice y'all blessed us to be able to use this voice for his glory but sometimes when you're spewing out just whatever it can kind of be for your glory uh, I can attest to this because I'm somebody that has grown to become eloquent in speech and because of that I can say many words and much words and many powerful things as well. But one thing I've learned that got me caught up a lot is I move in haste when I express myself. Extremely inspired by Kanye West over the years, I've kind of taken <laughs> that kind of mindset and even into my Christian walk once again it's good to be bold as a Christian uh, set apart um, Kota Shem um, a follower of the Messiah Yahushua HaMashiach it, it, it's, it's a great thing to be expressive when it pertains to our faith when it pertains to what we believe when it pertains to what sin is when we express our disdain or hate for the things that the most high hates you know so yah has been guiding my steps in so many different ways and so many different facets and forms and using aspects outside of myself to guide me inwardly you know because ultimately our ultimate guide is the ruach hakodesh the holy spirit and that is truly guiding us into all truth and all righteousness so if we are led to the word by the Ruach, then praise Yah, you know, because you're in the Word now, and the Word is very much our relationship with Yah, with the Most High, and that's something I've been learning more and more, just to get into His presence, to fast, to pray, and to really get into His presence, to consecrate yourselves, and to, you know, separate yourself, and just really, just dig deep you know in this walk with him and I learned when I stop talking or stop expressing myself more and more I got to shut up and listen because sometimes many of us and me first and I always say me first need to shut up and listen and once you actually hearing what the spirit is saying instead of trying to be the spirit instead of trying to speak on behalf of the spirit. The spirit, I believe, inhabits us to be able to move in the glory of the Father. But once again, I believe sometimes I will speak out of my flesh and I will over speak and I will over talk. And I'll be honest, because I've gotten this way, I've realized because I profess what I profess. People are watching. You now there's there's a lot of videos out there about chosen ones, and I'm gonna speak about that because just like I made a video on the wrong perspective of semen retention, you know, when you take humanistic ideology and you kind of tie that into a practice that I believe is ordained by the Most High to be pure, to set you apart, and to what I believe attract a wife um, as a man, you know, and if you're away from that stuff as a woman to attract a husband. 
And I believe the same concept goes for being a chosen one because we are called to be set apart when you're walking with Yah. You know, and and I don't mean just because some people believe in God, you know, but they don't believe that God has sent this only begotten son. Many would call him Jesus. I call him Jesus sometimes. Uh, Yahusha or Yeshua. And some people call or say Yahweh Shai. So many people use many different names. And besides the point of the names, we know that the Most High, the creator of everything, Yahuwah, sent his only begotten son to die. And he was resurrected on the third day after he died on the cross. Or the tree, people can call it the tree or the stake. You know, so I'm not here to debate nothing of what you call or name or anything of what you're naming or whatever your translations or transliterations. I'm trying to make a point. You know, so anybody that calls themselves a believer of the Most High, uh, the true Most High, the true and living Elohim, we're going to have to believe in that fact, in that truth. And if you believe in that fact and that truth, then you know the truth of truth. Because he says, I am the truth, the way, and the life. And there's no way to the Father except through me. Because in our faith that he existed, that he died and resurrected. And that he was the only begotten son of the living. And I like to use the word breathing, you know, even though we're not human lungs, you know, but the, the living Elohim, the Most High Yah, you know, so... Sometimes I just need to stand firm on the gospel message more than... Humanistic ideology once again. I, do I believe that there's certain aspects of the truth that ties into... Um, for instance, what I profess to believe I am according to, you know, the children of Israel. You know, I believe that I am a part of the original branches. Um, and not the grafted in branches. But I do believe that there's a nation of people that's going to come together um, of all nations comprised of the kingdom you know we're kingdom citizens we're called to be set apart we co we're called to be Kodashim. Hashem and when you're set apart I feel like no matter what race you are no matter what color you are Yah is going to be dealing with you Yah is going to be working on you you're going to deal with persecution you're going to deal with people turning on you you're going to deal with people hating on you you're going to deal with just you're going to walk in a room and people are going to be able to realize who you are and feel who you are people are going to be watching you people are going to be stalking you probably you know like people literally stalking you just socially when you put certain things like when you put that profession out people are going to be looking for something you know, some people on the outside looking in, looking, for, chinking your armor. You know, the enemy is like a, like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. You know, you, you look at that when you're chosen by the most high. People going to be watching you. People going to be looking at you. People going to try to see what you're about. People are going to try to test you. You know, it is. I had so many fellow Christians test me, you know, and just try to test me, you know, just... And them themselves weren't coming with the love of Christ. And me, as what I profess to be as an Israelite, will still come at you with the love of Christ. And it's, it's difficult because, like, I don't, I personally want to let go of labels. <laughs> you know, because I believe labels and names and snapping, slapping a name on something is a big part of the issue. And it's a big part of the division in the body as a whole, collectively. You know, I could call myself an Israelite all I want, but if I'm not <laughs> in the vine, which is Christ, and he's for all, you know, and or if I just consider myself a, a Christian, but I'm not guarding the ways of the most high. You know, if I call myself a follower of the Messiah, but I'm not really following the Messiah. I'm not really becoming Christ-like. If, if the fruit of my life doesn't show forth my profession, if it's faith, but it's no deeds in this faith to show my faith, which is the deeds that we do, the works that we do should exemplify our faith. You know, so there's 
there's so many aspects to this walk, you know, where it, it's very simple in, in, in concept, in its essence, it's very simple. You know, if you're reading the scriptures, you know, we guard the ways of the Most High. We believe in the Son. By faith in that, you know, we have salvation and we are to do the things that the Most High is guiding us to do by His Ruach. Because the Spirit that's in us is guiding us into all truth. And all righteousness. So it guides us into the word. Even interpreting the word by the Holy Spirit. There, there, there ain't no private interpretation in the scriptures. There's, there's, there's none of that. None of our personal feelings and none of that. It's, it's literally the, the infallible inspired word of the Most High. And you know I, I had to grow in that. I had to grow in maturity with just shutting up. And just letting the word speak for itself. Because at the end of the day. I could believe all of this and that and that and this. But if I'm. Um, if I have wickedness in my heart towards a fellow brother or sister, if I'm sitting here and many would do it, you know, if I'm sitting here saying like this group of people are going to hell because they're this and then, but Yah's forgiving me for all the wickedness that I've done. It's, it's forgive as, you, as you've been forgiven, you know, so it ain't like we sweep whatever happened, you know, under the rug, you know, but we move forward in forgiveness in our hearts and we move forward in the, in, in the love that the Most High has shared with us. We are to share that with others. The, the light that the Most High has placed inside us by His Ruach, we are to shine that in the outside world and I lost sight on that. I've been in so much darkness because I was worried about skin color. You know, more than, you know, the gospel. But I knew I was led by the Ruach years ago to step away from campism, to step away from Hebrew Israelitism, and to step away from, um, you know, just trying to just follow certain scriptures, to dive into scriptures and study the scriptures for knowledge. Not necessarily wisdom, but for knowledge and vain knowledge which puffs up in the flesh. Instead of looking into the scriptures for principles, for, for scripture as far as the commandments and, and just um, the principles that I can apply, applicable things that I could read. I wasn't looking in the scriptures for things that I can apply to my character, to my heart, you know, my heart issues, my, my mindset, my mentality, you know, just... You know, so Yah has blessed me with the blessed revelation to be able to, you know, to, to shut my mouth and to listen. And let me tell you, it's, I've been blessed tremendously. I've grown so much from just shutting up and listening. And I will hope that that can help somebody because it's at the point, man. We in the last days, these, this, this. You know, we want to be watchful. You know, we want to be in prayer. We don't want to be caught in bitterness. We don't want to be caught in unforgiveness. We don't want to be caught in hatred. We don't want to be caught in strife and envy and divisions and, and, and quarrelings over minute matters. Like things that aren't even heaven or hell or salvation issues. You know, and just... I can't argue over that type of stuff. I can't fight with nobody over that type of stuff. I'm at the point... You know what? You believe what you believe. As long as it ain't heaven or hell, like it's funny because I've I've dissolved many arguments where people wouldn't even contact me back by just saying, you know, I love you, because you're going back and forth with somebody, and and don't make no difference at the end of the day. You know, regardless of what I call myself and what you call yourself, are we abiding in the love which Christ commanded us? Because that's a commandment as well. All the prophets and the law, hanging hanging that alone is to love. And sometimes we throw out love. We think love in, in a lawless way where we say love, 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 but forget his commandments. But then when it comes to truly loving your brother, you know, it just, you don't love your brother because of maybe a label that a brother may go by. And I remember going by a label. And because of that label or what I label myself as and what I could see according to scripture and, and the revelation that the Most High Yah has given me, I got into quarrelings with individuals not even knowing the roots of what I stood on, which my foundation was never in the color of my skin. It was never in my ethnicity. It was never in my race. That's just the identifying factor of who I am. 
just like any other group of people can identify themselves with a nation of people we can't we finally are waking up to that truth and that's that's something that's happening I'm not here to spew that. I'm not here to throw that out there. I'm not here to stand on the mountaintops and tell you that I'm an Israelite. I'm not here to, to do that. At the end of the day, are we set apart? Are we called Hashem? <laughs> are we set apart? Are we followers of the Messiah? Are we following the Messiah? Are we, are we allowing Christ to... To have preeminence in our lives. Are we allowing the ways of the Most High to be in our hearts, to be in our minds? As He promised, He would write His commandments in our hearts and our minds. And by the Ruach, we are to guard His ways. And I believe by the Spirit, we can guard His commandments. By the Spirit. And that's where I'm at. You know, just even to sit down in front of this camera. Like, I wasn't planning on recording nothing honestly i just kind of wanted to do a test run but you know i really want to get into some shorter content just some shorter videos just me sitting in my room just i don't know just you know sit in my room just straight through i got my bible studies but this straight through kind of like a spin-off of the porch therapy sessions but kind of get more into you know the deep thoughts, you know the things that grind your gears or the deeper thoughts and the intricacies of, you know, or aspects of scriptures and principles and, you know, not necessarily having to get deep into the word, but just in principle and in essence, just expressing myself, you know, and just thoughts, you know, and just what I felt like. I was just moved to just talk about, yo, like sometimes we just need to just stop talking <laughs> and get into the presence of the most high and listen to his voice. You know, it is. And our prayer time is good to just, we don't have to pray all the time and talk all the time to the Most High and keep on asking the Most High for stuff. Maybe in our prayer time, we can listen to what He's trying to say to us. We always trying to pray to the Most High, but we don't give Him time to even answer us. <laughs> you know, and I know somebody can attest to that. So I, I will hope that that hit somebody. I will hope that this message have hit somebody. Once again, you know, and just, I want to take a new direction in the ministry. Um, just as a whole, I don't want to sit here and, and, and jab at you scriptures on what I believe that I am. Ultimately, I am a kingdom citizen. I'm Kota Shem set apart. I'm a child of the Most High Yah. You know, and that's that. And that's it. And there ain't nothing else. And I'm not going to compromise that. I'm not going to, you know, there's neither Greek nor Jew, <laughs> uh, bond or free, you know, male or female or whatever, shape, size, Scythian, barbarian, or whatever you may be or consider yourself or call yourself. If you believe that, you know, the we could go into the 66 or just whatever else additionally that you believe like regardless are you in the scriptures are the holy scriptures are is that the guideline to your life you know is the center of your life the most high and the son of the most high yahuwah i mean yahusha you know um you know because the mashiach he's the one that we are to follow and as a man He's the head of my life, you know, so ultimately as men of the most high, is he the head of your life? And as women, you know, are, are you abiding in him? And, you know, as wives, are you allowing your husband to be the head and open to that idea? Because it's, <laughs> if you're not, you know, that's another talk, <laughs> you know, but I'm not... I got a lot of stuff to talk about, you know, but I want to be wise and, you know, just, I just desire to guard the ways of the most high. And like I said, speak less, you know, and just speak more powerfully. Like, I don't have to say much words in order to say something powerful. I could say five things is more powerful than a one hour speech. And that's something that I'm growing in. So... Y'all knows how to deal with me. If it's something that takes an hour, I'm going to talk an hour, you know. But if it's something that takes 20 minutes, I can make it an hour because of my much speaking. Because I'm an orator. I speak. I, this is what I do. You know, I can have a whole sermon in front of you. I could do like a three-hour sermon, I feel like, if I wanted to. You know, y'all has graced me to do that, but it's, it's futile. You know, if... Uh, 
let's keep it short, sweet, and just hope that you've been edified by this message. And I uh, just pray that y'all blesses you. And um, yeah, peace. Woo.